Welcome back to your mat. We are going to get into your hips today. So have a blanket handy. You may need a strap, which I don't have handy. There it is. And we're going to start on our backs. So I just have my blanket there so I can grab it, but we're not going to use it just yet. Let's come onto your backs. Lie down with your feet on the mat, knees resting against each other and feet wide apart. And just kind of have your feet parallel to the long side of your mat or knees resting. Take them as wide as you're comfortable taking them as you can comfortably take them. And let's even out the back. So spread the lower back, lengthen your spine a little bit, spread your shoulder blades. Let's just rest the arms at the side of the body, palms facing open, heart nice and open. Feel the grounding beneath your feet. Feel the back body connecting to your mat. Soften your brow. Start to look into that space right between your eyes. Drop your gaze into the space, down into your heart center. and open yourself to an intention for your practice today. And once you've found that intention, just take your feet back to hips width and place your right ankle above your left thigh there. So we're going to take our number four stretch here. If you can grab the back of your leg, you're going to grab the back of the leg and draw the left leg in. So if you can't, you're going to take a strap and wrap it around that leg and pull the leg in with the strap. So your head is on the mat and we're gently going to press that right thigh away from us as we pull the left knee in. So there's a little bit of work going on here. Look at your ankle, make sure it's supported on your thigh and not dropping into the little window between your legs there. So the ankle is right above the thigh and neutral position there. So lower back is rounded a little bit. We don't want to have it flat in the mat. So gentle pressing of the hips away. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed here. Just feel what's going on in your hips. What are you holding on to? Be open to any information that may come in during your practice today in that space. Our sacral chakra, we're going to work through Whatever's stuck in that space, stories, things that are blocking you achieving what you want to achieve in your life, your desires, the things that excite you. So let's press that right hip away. Breath is always in and out through the nostrils when we're physically moving, unless you're directed otherwise. And let's place both feet down. Left ankle over the right knee on that thigh resting on that little shelf there. We're going to take the right knee in, press the hips away. Just feel where your body is in this moment. Draw in and resist. And often one side is more, op more open or tighter than the other. Maybe recognize that. Different energy stuck on different sides of the body happens as well. So softening that left hip. If you find a little more space, draw that right knee in a little bit more, right thigh in and press that left hip a little bit further away from you. Good. Let's release both feet back down to the mat. We're going to take a half happy baby here. So I'm just going to start with my left leg, but you can start with your right. doesn't matter. We'll do both sides just so you can see. And you take either half happy baby with the hand on the outside of the foot if you can grab it. If you can't, use your strap here, wrap it around your foot and pull down. So we're going to pull the quads down towards the mat, the thigh here. Foot is parallel to the sky as much as you can get it. And just draw downwards here. 
as you do this, resist it with the right side. So the right side is going to push down. It's not going to pop up. We're not swinging all the way over like this. And press as, as far down towards the mat as you can here. And we're just going to make little kind of movements here in the hip joint. So little circles, keeping this ankle neutral here. We're not pulling it in or pulling it too far open. And just kind of moving in little circles, maybe through the hip joint, keep pressing that right hip down and then go the other way, pushing the sitting bone away from you as you round it out. Good, and let's release that foot, switch legs outside of the foot, making sure the ankle, ankle is neutral and press that quad down towards your mat. This time the opposite hip is pushing down or drawing down, resisting it on the other side and starting to make circles and lengthening. So pressing that sitting bone away from you as you kind of make little circles, maybe you can get a little bit wider. Always checking that the ankle is not sickling. And just rotating through that hip joint, we'll go the other way, circling it out. Just starting to create space, feeling where you have tightness. Keep resisting with that opposite hip. We kind of have to push it down, especially with the movement, right? And release that foot down. Let's rock ourselves up for a moment to seated so we can support ourselves. You're gonna grab that blanket and it's gonna go across your shoulder blades so you might not want to have too high. You want to make sure that you have just enough lift so you can get the head. So your head is going to be able to fall, fall back onto the mat without like this massive lift underneath there. So rock your shoulder blades across your support. Cactus your arms out if that's too much for you. Arms straight out to the side. And we're going to take the feet pretty wide apart here. We're going to take the right ankle and scoop it on top of the left thigh. So rest it there and keep your left knee where it is and only walk your foot to the right. So basically, you're going to start to drop your left knee towards the mat. Make sure both feet are flexed here that you've got, you're pressing through the heels. The ankle doesn't start dropping in. And once you get that left leg to drop down, it may not go all the way over. As you can see, mine is not doing this. I'm especially tight here. So that right knee is going to start to drop over. So basically we're doing a reclining fire log pose here, right? When we sit with our shins stacked on top of each other, so you're going to press through, press through and try to get that right knee to come down, right thigh to come down to the right. So you've got that triangle in between your legs. And breathe into that space and there's effort here. So we're going to actually press that right leg more open, that right hip more open. So even if the legs are up here, right, you're just making an effort towards getting that right hip down. Breathe into your pelvis. And now just soften, right? So we've been making this effort, just soften and see if you can let the legs just kind of hang out here and let gravity do its work. Just make sure that the ankle is neutral. So you're pushing through the heel. That's where you want some effort, but otherwise just soften the hip. Feel the weight of your leg releasing. This is a fairly intense opening. And let's bring it back together. So walk your foot back over to the left, place your feet back down wide apart, left ankle hooks over on top of the right thigh and we start to walk the right foot to the left with the right knee dropping to the right. So if you're confused, just look at the screen <laughs> and take a flex of both feet, press through the heels and start to drop that left thigh open. So effort here, right? Maybe find a little bit more evenness underneath your back and press that left hip open. Take a deep breath into your hips. So we're really pressing that left lower back, left hip, 
left thigh, all of that over to the left, trying to keep the back on the mat. So you're not swinging over to the right here. And still pressing into that right thigh as well. So just a couple more breaths here of effort. And maintaining that neutral ankle, you're just gonna soften the legs and let the weight of the legs just sink down towards your mat. One more breath here. And let's walk it back up. Feet wide apart. And we're gonna do some resistance windshield wipers. So you're gonna drop your knees over to the right and start to windshield wiper your left leg to the left without that right leg moving. It's resisting, it's resisting, it's resisting. And then it only moves when you don't have any more space and you come up and over to the left, press that right knee away from you, press that right hip away from you. And then right leg goes over, left leg does not come with you until you have no more space. And then over to the right, that left knee pushes away from you. Left hip pushes away from you. A little pressing of that pelvis away. And then left leg goes to the left. Resist that right side. Resist, resist. Press those inner groins open. And then we draw it over. And push that right knee away from you. And let's bring it back to center. So knees into the chest. Roll to your side. Push yourself up. And move your blanket out of the way. So come back onto your back. And we're going to rock ourselves up into Navasana. Grab the backs of your legs. Rock yourself along your mat, along your spine. And then bring yourself up into Navasana. Catch yourself here. Lift your heart. Spread your toes. We're just going to hold a quick boat pose here. Maybe the legs can go straight. Hearts lifted here. If this is hard for you, you start holding on to your legs. Actually, you start with your feet down if it's hard for you. And then just start with one leg at a time. So super active on the legs, belly strong. And let's just take a quick Bodhikonasana, the soles of the feet together. Let the head drop here. Just fold over those feet. Squeeze the soles of your feet together. Press the thighs downwards. And roll yourself up. Let's draw those knees in. We're going to make our way into our plank. So we're coming into our 90 second plank pose that we've been doing together every single day. Come on to the palms. If you're taking full plank, take it back. Ball mount to the feet under you, all 10 fingers spreading into the mat, and making sure that you have got a lift in your belly and your hips. They're not collapsing here. Gaze is just lifted ahead of you. If you need to, you do this from your knees. So find your feet and get your pinky toe under you and press the heels back without the body moving back. So deep breaths here. If you want to, for those of you that are taking this 90 second plank and it's not as challenging, right? We're gonna come to our forearms. So we're gonna take a, another let's say 30 seconds in forearm plank. With forearm plank, it's a lot more challenging on the core right? You want to make sure that your hips are not all the way up here and they're obviously not collapsing. It's usually the other way around where it's too high. So just drop them down a little bit, squeeze into the armpits. For those of you that this is new for you, you're taking child's poses in between, right? So push into the mat, squeeze into those armpits, belly strong, quads are strong, glutes are strong. I've lost track of where we were in our 30 second plank. So come back onto your palms if you took the forearm plank. Take one more deep breath here. And scoop your belly and let's push it up into downward facing dog. And float the right foot to the top of that. We're gonna drop the left knee down. So inch that left knee back. Either your toes are tucked or the foot is flat. Straight back, let's float into low lunge pose. Inhale, hands to prayer. We're gonna twist and rest on that thigh or you're gonna hook your arm on the outside of the thigh. And we're gonna take a twisted low lunge here. Squeeze those right ribs back. Press, tuck your back toes under. 
and press your left knee off of the mat into a twisted crescent pose. Squeeze that thigh up to the sky, stay deep in the lunge and pull your right ribs back. Let's drop the back knee down. Take your left hand to the inside of your right foot and bend that back knee. So you might just hang out here. If you want, if you can't reach your foot, grab a strap. If you feel like take going a little deeper or you can just hang out. If you can reach your foot, take a hold of your foot, draw the heel down and open up the right side, breathe. And let's release the toes down, step it back. Take a vinyasa, exhale, chaturanga. Heart open, inhale, find your back bend, upward or cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing. Left foot to the top of the mat, right knee drops, we walk that knee back. Inhale, anjanasana, low lunge pose. Breathe in, hands to prayer, lean forward and we rest and turn. Or if you have more space, you hook and spin those left ribs back. Breathe, get super active in your legs. We're gonna tuck the back toes under and press that back knee off of the mat. Squeeze that thigh up into the hamstrings, pull the left ribs back. Take a deep breath here. And place the knee down, right palm to the mat. Bend your back knee and again, either you're just leaning into it, using a strap or taking your hand to your foot and spinning around. Lift those left ribs back. And gently release that foot. So let's come to the knees for a quick second. Grab your strap and make a loop. Did I make a loop yet? No, I did not. Make a loop so you can put your foot in the loop. So if you don't have an actual strap, you're just using a scarf or something, just tie a little knot so you can have a loop for your foot. And so we're going to take, come to the knees. We're gonna take the strap on the left foot to start here. And we're gonna take the right knee forward into our pigeon prep, right? So right knee forward, maybe that shin goes forward. If you're tight, heels go into the groin. And knee to the right a little bit. So we'll start just for a few breaths in our prep, prep part of the pose. Point through the top of the foot here and let your body rest over your leg here. If you need to, you put a support underneath your pelvis. You sit on a blanket or just on that outer right hip. And take some deep breaths here. And for those of you that can't access this at all, just come back onto your back into that number four pose that we started with. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's take some deep breaths into our hips. Soften into that space. And deep belly contraction. We're gonna start to walk ourselves up. Shoulders back, and this is where you're going to take a hold of your strap. Let's bend the knee, just throw it over your shoulder, and just start here. So, this might be enough for you. You can kind of hang out here and just maybe draw the strap in a little bit. If you have a little bit more space, you're going to lift yourself up and take a hold of the strap with both hands. You can rest on your right thigh here. So, left arm up, lift yourself up. If you have the strength and a little bit more space, you're going to take both hands to the strap and start to walk yourself into your pigeon pose. So belly strong, and we're gonna to start to float back, elbows up to the sky, and just drop in. Maybe you can go a little bit deeper. And then gently release that strap. Take the knees, uh, take the feet back, toes together, knees wide, and we're gonna shoot back into a quick child's pose. So just take a moment here, rest the forehead on the mat. Arms along the side of the body, palms resting upwards if you have access to that. Otherwise, arms overhead. You can always put blankets under your chest and head and on top of your calf muscles if you need.
and just kind of feel one side's a little more open than the other. It's a little bit of imbalance. We will fix that in a moment. Good, and come back up onto the hands and knees. Let's take the strap on the right foot. So strap on the right foot, and that left knee is gonna come forward. So just have that tail of the strap alongside of you. Start to inch it forward a little bit more. If you have more space, that shin comes forward, back knee walks back, and press through the top of that foot. Ballet point on the front foot. We're gonna walk ourselves over that leg. Take a few breaths here in our pigeon prep pose. Breathe into your hips, soften into your hips. What are you holding on to? One more deep breath here. Deep contraction in that belly, let's walk it up. Slowly start to lift yourself and bend your back knee. So again, start here. Maybe this is where you're gonna hang out for a little bit. Strap over the shoulder. You can start to pull on it a little bit. If you want to have a little bit more space, if you have a little bit more space. And for those of you that can, you're gonna press yourself up, lift yourself up. Just rest on that left thigh. Maybe the right arm goes, goes up overhead. Maybe both hands walk to the strap and maybe you start to drop a little bit further into the back bend and lift up. And maybe the hands go down a little bit more and gaze up, back, elbows back, chest lifts, deep breath. Heart open and soften and release. Let's make our way to seated, both legs out in front. Shake it out. And we're just gonna take a quick forward fold here over these legs. Our Paschimottanasana, so rock your sitting bones evenly out from underneath you. Have your legs being neutral position so they're not just flopping out to the side. And we're just gonna fold, let everything drop. Let your head get heavy. Feel the shoulder blades rounding out. Just to release from the neck as well. Squeeze those inner thighs down. So you're gonna take the backs of the legs. Keep the heels from popping up off the mat. So press into the heels. Draw all of that energy in from the back bend. Take one more deep breath here. Just surrendering into your mat. And scoop your belly in, roll yourself up. Make your way onto your back. Yes, bring yourself onto your back. Knees into the chest, just a little rock it back and forth. Let's take a final twist on each side, both knees over to the right. We're gonna press that left side down a little bit. Maybe rock that right shoulder blade out, gaze to the left. And bring it back to center, both legs over to the left. Maybe that right hip draws down a little bit. Left shoulder blade out from underneath you, gaze to the right. And we bring it back to center. So come into Shavasana. Give your body space here. Once you've found a comfortable position, close your eyes. Feel the weight of your body releasing. So all of that work you've just done, let it go. Let that information be integrated. Give yourself this time to let go completely. Check in with your breathing. If you're engaging a deeper breath, let that go as well.
Bring your awareness to your lower back and your hips and soften into that space. Feel the opening that you created in your practice. And dive into the space right between your eyes and bring your focus to your third eye space, soften your brow. And start to look into that space. And ask yourself this question. What am I holding on to that is keeping me from flourishing? What am I holding on to that is keeping me from flourishing? And drop your gaze deeper into that space. and simply resting your attention here, being open to whatever information your higher self has for you. Bring your awareness back to your breathing. Gently start to reawaken the body, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, move through the hands and the feet. And let's take the arms up over the head, deep, full body stretch. Reach through your fingertips, reach through your toes. Keeping your eyes closed, keeping that inner focus, draw your knees in. Gently rock yourself back and forth here. And let's make our way over onto our sides into fetus position. And with the eyes remaining closed, press yourself up to seated. Sit up nice and tall. Take your palms to prayer. Seal all of that work in between your hands. Press your thumbs into your heart center. Draw the chin in and bow the head forward. And bow down to your creative spirit. Your ability to create in every moment of your day. Bow down to your resilience. Your ability to change and to grow. And bow down to your inner wisdom. Honor your light, your love. Bow down to that space within all beings. And from deep within your heart, send a prayer of peace to the world. May all beings experience peace. Now express gratitude for three things in your life. Inhale the head back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. <sighs> Salsa dancing tonight. <laughs> Let's see what angels have to say for you. Okay.
plus three just popped up. Celebration. Grace. And purpose. Go and create a beautiful day. I'll see you on your mat tomorrow. Bye.